right? So there's this bleh, 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 bleh. So there's been this weird thing going on with the horror genre lately. Um, there always seems to be that one movie that comes out, that one really good, well-made horror film that comes out each year. 2014 was The Babadook, 2015 was It Follows, 2016... It's The Witch. In case you guys didn't know, The Witch is a New England folktale directed by a man who I'm slowly beginning to love. His name is Robert Eggers, or Eggers. I still don't know how to pronounce his last name, but I'm going to pronounce it Eggers because... Egg. Robert Eggers is a man who has done many short films um, before his um, very first full-length feature film, which was The Witch. Um, he's done uh, short films such as um, Hansel and Gretel and The Telltale Heart, I believe it is, the one by Edgar Allan Poe, that one short story. And I believe that one's all done by puppets, which is really cool. And what I like about this guy is that he kind of has his own style, his own unique style. And all of his movies have this very gothic atmosphere to it, and I absolutely love his work. So, it's <laughs> so of course, I was very excited to see his first full-length feature film, The Witch. And um, yeah, as you can probably tell from that little intro there, I really love this film. The premise is very simple. You cannot get more simple than this. But it is about a family in New England in the 1630s who think they are experiencing this sort of witchcraft and they believe that they're being hunted by a witch um, in this forest and um, yeah that, that's pretty much the whole movie <laughs> so let me tell you my experience with this film um, I saw this movie in a theater with a friend of mine and um, first of all there was only like 10 people in the entire theater so um, unfortunately I don't think this movie is gonna be making that much money but um, yeah there was very little people in the theater um, we were watching it, and as soon as the movie ended, um, me and my friend were the only people who actually liked the movie. Everyone else in the theater hated it. There was an elderly couple right next to us who were like, man, that movie was absolutely terrible. And to be completely honest with you guys, I can 100% see why people would not like this film, especially the general audience. I can definitely see why people would not like this movie. They would be bored with it because it's a very, very slow film. And I can just picture so many people bashing on this movie, thinking it's a terrible movie! I, for one, did not think it was terrible. I actually thought this film was quite fantastic. Um, however, I feel like this is a movie that's really only for film buffs, for people who, you know, actively go out and watch movies. But I don't think the general audience would like this movie, and I can definitely see why, like I said, they would hate it. The film played at Sundance of last year, I believe it was, and, um, Robert Eggers actually took home the award for Best Director. And personally, I think the guy definitely deserves it, because this is a very well-made, well-directed film. The film was also praised at the Sundance Film Festival, and it's also being praised by critics now. The movie has a pretty decent percentage on Rotten Tomatoes and IMDb, you know, the critics seem to be loving this film. But that's the thing, um, I think if you're, you know, a, just a part of the general audience who are going into this movie, you know, expecting just to watch, you know, an, a horror film, you're probably not gonna like it, to be honest with you. Like I said, it's just more so a movie for people who really appreciate films. And not only that, but I hesitate to even call this a horror film, to be quite honest with you. It's, um, like the tagline says, it's just more of a... New England folktale in a way, where it's um, it, it's kind of like a psychological drama almost. There was nothing really that scary about it per se. It is definitely very creepy and unnerving, however. But yeah, just give you guys fair warning, you know. This is uh, definitely a movie that, you know, somebody who really appreciates movies would probably only like. That being said, for those of you who do appreciate films, and those of you who do consider yourselves film buffs, definitely go out and check this film out because this film is freaking phenomenal. The movie is very very, very well made. I was really, really surprised at how well this film is. The cinematography was beautiful. The film was very, very well shot. It was very, very well made, and I really don't have any complaints with the movie, you know, style-wise. I do have one minor nitpick with it, though, and that is that the film is very, very slow, as I mentioned. Very, very, very slow. But I really can't complain about that because this movie uses that slowness to build a lot of tension, and it definitely is well worth the wait, in my opinion. It is very, very atmospheric. Definitely. Robert Eggers, he does an amazing job creating atmosphere in his movies, and you, like I said, you can definitely tell he has his own, you know, sort of gothic style to all of his films. And the movie is not necessarily based on a true story, but inspired by true events that kind of link to the, um, Salem, Massachusetts, um, witch trials. And without spoiling much with you guys, it is definitely based on, you know, true events that have actually happened in the 1630s. And another interesting thing about this movie is that the Satanic Temple praises this film. They love it. So if you happen to be very religious, then this movie is 
your worst nightmare because this movie loves to tackle on you know um aspects of religion and um yeah it's it's a bit unnerving as i mentioned definitely if you are you know somebody who is christian then this movie will definitely disturb you it's definitely very um, like I said, unnerving, very uneasy. But yeah, guys, I love The Witch. I thought it was a phenomenal film. It's definitely my favorite movie of 2016 so far. I know it's only February, but I wouldn't be surprised if this movie made it to my top 10 best movies of the year list when 2016 ends. It is very, very good. I really, really liked it. And overall, I am probably going to give The Witch a four and a half out of five. I love the movie, as I mentioned. However, um, recommending this movie to you, like I said, is probably going to be a little tough. I really don't think the general audience would quite like this movie, but I think if, like I said, you are a film buff and if you appreciate movies, then you will definitely love this film. And also, rumor has it that Robert Eggers, the director of The Witch, is um, supposed to be making a Nosferatu remake. And to be completely honest with you guys, that movie is in very, very good hands, I think, because Robert Eggers definitely has, you know, I think the talent and that, you know, gothic atmosphere that he often has in all of his films to make this movie. I think it could really, really work with this guy behind the camera. And honestly, if there was one person to ever remake a Nosferatu movie, then I think it would definitely have to be Robert Eggers. Um, I think he would do a fantastic job, and I honestly cannot wait if that movie ever comes out. Nosferatu, the 1922 one, of course, is one of my favorite films of all time, so I would definitely love to see that with this guy behind um, the ca camera. But yeah, that's about it. <laughs> that's about it for this review, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I am Jacob Palacio, and I will see you guys later.